exploradores. Hola. Today we are going to check out some cenotes. Yes, so right now we're at Cenote Azul. The word cenote actually means sinkhole. So it's kind of like our springs in the States. I've been looking forward to jumping in one of these since we found out about them. Yeah. Supposedly, if you come during the weekdays, it's a little less packed, but we're here on a Wednesday and it it's is. actually pretty packed. Yeah. But it is the Easter holiday, so... Mm, and a spring break for many people. Yeah, So, but this is a very popular destination for the Mexican people when they want to cool off. All right, so we may check out a couple more today. Yeah, because they're like from here to Azul, there are like two more that you can just walk to. They're so close. Right. So. All right, let's get in. All right. They give you a stamp and this is to prove that you washed it off so that pretty much has to be clear. We rinsed off. Pretty much just don't wear product when you come. Don't wear makeup or anything like that because they don't want it in the cenote. So. They're going to make you scrub regardless yeah. of whether you tell them you did or not. And then yeah they, they check with this little ink. To it has see. to wash off. Yeah. I think we're gonna head to the back one first. It looked like there were some more kid-friendly ones in the front. We'll yeah. check those out in a bit, but we're gonna start at the back one. There's a jumping rock and all that. Yeah, and it's a really big area. Yeah. He's in. I didn't jump in, but I, I walked in. Yep, she was able to take, there's like a natural stair formation over there. So if you don't feel like jumping in and getting it over with right away, yeah. you can have options to just kind of slide in. So the white lime rocks are less slippery than the other one. So <laughs> wear water shoes. It's very sensible to wear water shoes in these areas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go check underwater. All right. head to the cliff and try to jump off of it. right there in the caves. So he wanted to go swim back there and check out some of those caves. So I'm here under the cave. You have a spot to sit. Fish therapy. It's really funny as people pay hundreds of dollars back in the States to have this done. You just jump into a cenote here and you get it done for free. rock to sit on. We're just sitting here looking at people jumping. Um, I did want to say that it is 
We paid 720 pesos to get in for four people. They do not accept credit card. I think there was an American price, but it was probably a little bit more, but we had pesos, so we paid pesos. That was fun. We're gonna go check out the beginning poles that are kind of for more for kids. Yeah. So, All okay. right, and then look, at, I just found a lizard. Check this out. These are for the little guys. It's a little bit shallower. And they can hang out and they have two of them actually. There's one here and then there's one right over here. This one's kind of interesting. It has a lot of white limestones that you can stand on. Feels a little colder, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels a little colder <laughs> than the other one. I wonder if the other one has more, <laughs> just because there's a lot of people in it. Yeah, more body heat. <laughs> yeah. drive really fast in Mexico. <laughs> it's not a sidewalk, it's more like lime rock and rocks. <laughs> yeah, so you'll definitely need some shoes. <laughs> Our next stop on the cenote tour is the Eden cenote. Yeah, it comes up as Jardin del uh, Eden cenote. We'll put it on the screen, we yeah. probably butchered that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> means Garden of Eden. <laughs> yes, it is 200 pesos per adult to get in. But we asked him uh, what we could uh, pay for four in USD. And it was $54. $54. And they do not have credit cards here. So plan accordingly about that. Once you pay, it's like a six to eight minute walk. Yes. So if you can't walk, this might not be the one for you. Yes. So both Azul and Eden were cash only. Walking through this Mexican jungle here. Yes. Yes, yeah, it's very hot though. It is. It reminds me a little bit of Texas, but I think there's more humidity. Yeah, but see, this is, is like it reminds me of Texas in June. We're here in March. We finally made it to the end. I think there's like little areas down here. Okay, much like the last cenote, you actually have to shower. They don't care if you've been to the other one before, but it's kind of a proof thing. The whole cenote is for everybody, but there's one platform that's off limits because the divers enter in there, and that's probably just for a way for them to gear up. Yeah, so you can dive here too. But you, nothing is cut off to you except that platform. You can also rent um, life jackets here, and they do have food, so. But all right, let's go find the showers. Not quite the jolt that we had this morning. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna watch Mike jump into the water. They yep. have a huge diving area. This looks even higher than the last one. I would not be doing this, he's insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but here, this is what it kind of looks like.
massages here. It looks like it's 350 peso for 30 minutes, 700 peso for one hour. Looks like there's a little diving dock here. And a place you can kind of set up. Whew, these stairs look treacherous. We're gonna try to go down them to the dock and jump in. This one is a little more wild. Nikolai's in the center there. That's where I'm gonna try to get to. All right, I made it in. Nikolai's sitting in the middle here. Hello. <laughs> The rock is a little slimy. I keep slipping off of it. So. Yeah, doesn't it remind you of a hockey rink? Yeah. So, but Michael finally came in over on this side. We're gonna go see what he's doing. again sitting on the dock of the bay getting his fish that's the other one yeah okay we're walking to our next cenote Woo, it's crazy out here Okay, we're at the final cenote, which is Cristalino. Yeah, so we think we're saying that right. We'll put the name here because we butcher everything. We're really trying with the Spanish thing. English is our first language, and apparently we can't even speak that well. <laughs> yeah. From what people have been telling us, this is the, one of the nicer cenotes. Yes, but it also means it comes with more rules. You're actually required to wear a life jacket while in the water and they have a bag inspection and everything when you're in the front. Yeah, so they did have a couple snacks up front, so that's good too. It cost us $52 USD uh, for four people. I think it was like 150 peso per person. Right. So, you know. And this one is open seven days a week. And they do not accept credit cards either. This looks really cool. They got all natural mangroves in here. I'm just gonna jump off the cliff and get it over with. Yeah, I'm not. All right. He's crazy, I'm not. Okay. I don't like wearing a life jacket <laughs> is it doesn't let you go down and then trying to get under a rope just didn't make it that easy so let's go ahead and take a look underwater I'm not gonna be able to get down there though because of this stupid thing but <laughs> let's just uh, take a look so you all can see it Gage is heading into the cave. I'm gonna go over there with him. Watch the bottle. Hopefully, don't get eaten. Yep. Whatever's lurking in the cave. Cave sharks. Cave sharks. Pretty shallow in here. Yep. yep. So, Dr. Grant, have you found any dinosaurs? 
Nope, when I'm stuck in this cave. <laughs> <laughs> Explore a little bit further into this cave. Yeah, <laughs> looks like it goes pretty deep under here, which is yeah. really cool. It's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> we came to the other side and we're just gonna kind of go around here. We see divers too, so I think you can dive here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they got it roped off, but I haven't seen anybody enforcing whether which side of the rope you're supposed to be on. Fish here are huge. Check this out. Lots of big fish. Michael went over there to check some things out. Looks like on the other side of the cave, it's actually a little bit more shallow. So maybe you can bring the little ones over here. Make sure you explore all paths. It looks like there's other little entrances and exits, little cenotes around the big cenote. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're gonna leave you. This has been a fun day, but man, I'm tired. We did a lot of walking. Yes, and we hope you enjoyed our cenote hopping tour. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, we kind of ranked it on how we enjoyed it. And then we both had the same conclusion. Right. Eden, we thought by far was the best. It was it, very rustic, nature. Right. Yeah, and wild, you, I think is the way you wild, put it. Wild, yeah. And you felt just kind of like you were in like a quarry of some sort, you know, mm -hmm. all tucked in. So. Yes. Azul was our second favorite. Yeah. That one, you know, it, once you got past everything in the back and you just got this whole area, it, it was really fun. I kind of wish there was less people, but it is the holiday week and it is hot. So mm -hmm. a lot of people there. Right. And unfortunately that leaves Cristalino as the, the, third. the one at the bottom which we don't really have a problem with it. it. It's very beautiful here. We, we really liked it. The scenery was gorgeous, but it's a life preserver. it was a life preserver they kept and going up here. It just felt a little more like there was too many rules with it. Not that I have a problem with the rules, but you know, it's, it, it, it didn't, it didn't feel like, you know, you were just there to enjoy water. Yeah. So, but these things are so much fun. They say, if you're come to Mexico, you have to get to a cenote at least once. Mm -hmm. These three cenotes you can walk to. So you, you stop at Azul and then you just keep walking down and you hit a bunch of them. And there's one in between Azul and Eden that you can hit too, but we didn't have enough time. Right. So. so if you have the time and the money, definitely check out these three. No matter how we ranked them, all three were definitely worth the visit. Yes. Well, as always, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, wait, do we remember what the word cenote means? No. This is the, one of the nicer cenotes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's supposedly it's not as crowded, but we'll see. It's got more rules. You actually have to wear a life jack while you're in the water. Life jacket, yeah. sorry. <laughs> what is a life jack? Okay. We hope you enjoyed our... What the f is it? Now, I can't, why can't I remember the name? Cen what the f is it? Cenotes. cenotes.